What's up y'all, Jaleek from WeirdTesters.com here. Welcome back to yet another video here on the official WeirdTesters.com YouTube channel. In this one, we have a performance review on a confirmed contender for my hoop shoe of the year. That shoe being the New Balance 2-Way V2. We're gonna be going over all the usual categories, traction, cushion, materials, fit, support. And for this video, I'm gonna be taking those categories, ranking them from five down to my favorite, then follow up with my overall thoughts on the shoe. Let's get right to it. At number five, I am going with support, which was good on the shoe, but it could be better in some aspects. All of the usual support features are there, starting with a nice stable base that's low to the ground, and you actually sit within the midsole a bit, so there's a plus there. The upper is supportive as well, but we'll get to that when we get to materials. Hill support is present and effective, so you have an internal hill counter. The internal hill counter worked well for me, and in addition to that, where the midsole gets a little bit softer, with some stuff going on in the heel, you actually have an extra a heel clip to help stabilize things a bit there as well all of that worked perfectly where i would hope for a little bit more support would be actually with the torsional support so you do have a bar in there but it's very thin you can twist the shoe up pretty good so i would prefer that there be a little bit more torsional support and i think some other players playing at a highly competitive level would prefer some more torsional support as well if that does happen to be the case for you fortunately you have some options the insole is easily removable you can try out some different options like the move in Insole, which we've done a few videos on check that out if you haven't but as far as what you get out of the box with the shoe just keeping everything to manufacturer standards I would prefer a little bit more torsional support but overall the support on the shoe is enough to get the job done in my opinion coming in at number four I'm going with the fit which is true to size it's actually a perfect fit for me and I think it would be a good fit for wide footers as well just because the upper is soft enough that with some break-in you shouldn't really have too much issues or irritation or anything like that I think I've heard a few wide footers say that they went true to size and they were finding them as well if you happen to be a wide footer that's tried the V2 out let us know down in the comments what your experience has been with them just so we can help more people out I'm not a wide footer myself so that's that but again like I said for me fit was perfect it's a nice cozy fit lengthwise I know a lot of people said that these look like they run long but they actually don't the length is perfect in my opinion the only critique that I'll give with the fit which is kind of a reach it's not even really a fit thing but I did have to readjust the lace in anytime I had the time to stop and do so but that's actually more about another category that we'll get in to later I'll do my best to explain when that comes at number three I'm going with materials I love the fit weave light on this it's a strong but very flexible material even in the high wear areas where they threw on some fuse the fuse is very thin as well so you have some flexibility it's not going to be bothersome or anything like that and then as mentioned before the support is still there it's not really a performance thing but I do enjoy that they threw as much new buck as they did onto the shoe I will say where it's placed it makes the I guess put in the shoe on experience a little bit better just because you have that budding breed material to play around with when you're adjusting the tongue and getting your foot inside the shoe I guess it's more of an added bonus to well performing materials but where I actually like the materials most is actually with the inner lining it is all textile but it's super cozy on foot it's one of those things where you're first putting the shoe on you notice how cozy it is and then when you actually start get going on the court it's just easy to forget that you have a shoe on so I like the materials the inner booty is kind of like a half tongue kind of gusseted structure on the inside no real issues with it you don't have to worry about the tongue sliding all over the place you just kind of set things where you want them to be and for the most part you're good to go in them so I'm very happy about the materials on this shoe looking forward to seeing more of what they do with fit weave light my second favorite category of the two-way v2 is going to be the cushion this is probably my favorite version of fuel cell that they put in the basketball shoe at New Balance now the fuel cell is a little bit thinner than what I would normally prefer in a midsole however this is such a soft version of the fuel cell such a smooth ride I just I can't say enough about it you get a little bit of feedback from it assuming that's from the nitrogen infusion that goes into the fuel cell as thin as these are as much court fill as they have I'm actually able to last over two hours in these shoes most of my testing was done in like three hour spurts and then some other days maybe just an hour 30 minutes 45 minutes but for those nights I was playing two or three hours I really I've gotten away scratch-free 
my knees are doing okay not really dealing with any shin splints or anything like that so they did something right there speaking of knees and taking impact they did add the absorb dynamic response system back in the heel that's a very bouncy setup so if you happen to come to a hard stop often or happen to land on your heels that absorb gel and foam combination is going to help you out this is just a very well balanced midsole in my opinion it gets the job done for pretty much everything that I could ask for yeah it, it's a fun setup it's a fun ride for me and my number one category obviously process of elimination it's going to be the traction this outsole is a beast man this may be one of the best traction setups that I have played in it's kind of a surprise honestly just because they deviated from what they were doing on other New Balance hoops models where the rubber was a lot thicker in this one the tread is thinner however it seems to let be lasting pretty well if you decide to play outdoors I would be more worried about the heel section this translucent section here I do see a little bit of damage occurring where things are starting to split on some of the tread but if you're just playing indoors like I was it's a great experience and it's almost too good of a setup so going back to what I was saying earlier about having to readjust the laces is because the bite was so good on these that if I I don't normally like to choke my foot out as far as the lacing system goes I like where I'm able to kind of get a nice decent amount of pressure but nothing suffocating or anything like that that's just my preferences I'm not like a super shifty guy or anything like that so it works out for me in most cases I know <laughs> what my capabilities are and what my needs are for those capabilities but in this shoe I found myself having to choke out more and more because if I would come to a hard stop or change of direction uh, <laughs> if I didn't readjust the laces when I had the chances to I would end up twisting out of the shoe just because the outsole stuck so well to the ground this stuff is gonna cover you in all directions it's a very tacky setup there's even some subtle things in the pattern that I think help like when you're coming to a stop using your heel all of those circle areas are meant to give the cushion room to expand and contract and all of that good stuff but those holes also kind of double as like suction cups on the shoe so when you're coming to a stop you may or may not notice that but I do feel like those have that type of suction cup effect on it and just overall from front to back just so much coverage so much tackiness so much bite it's kind of ridiculous I played on some clean floors some dusty floors some not well maintained floors and didn't have an issue with these at all I probably won't be playing in these outdoors just because it's way too hot here in North Carolina but I can only assume you're gonna have just as good of an experience with the outsole performance outdoors as you would indoors just again I can't speak on durability overall New Balance 2-way V2 definitely is a contender as I mentioned in the intro for my favorite hoop shoe of this year I'm trying to think of head to what's coming out I know there's some potential bangers that are on the horizon KD 15s coming to the US in like a week or so some other models I can't really think of right now but right now for me these are it I think the Kyrie Infinities technically came out in 2021 but they didn't come to the US until 2022 so I'll include those mellow MB ones those were what uh, December basically 2022 but yeah back to the New Balance two-way V2 in particular great shoe I think this is going to accommodate a lot of players with a lot of different preferences if I had to think of a player that may not like these as much as others may uh, maybe someone more explosive that needs like a lot of zoom in a forefoot or something of that nature I Obviously you won't get that with New Balance, but with the two-way V2, you're getting a great shoe. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for what I have on this guy. There will be a written performance review that you can check out at weartesters.com. Hopefully we'll have a link to that in the description box. I'll go into a little bit more detail with things. And then also, if you are looking to cop, there should be links there as well, if they're not in the description box for this video. But I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's always appreciated. Feels good to get back in front of the camera and talk with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you you all so much to the next time I see you all take care of yourselves take care of one another leak out